In the series of videos, we have been discussing about multiple alleles. Then we had a lecture on ABO blood group system. Now, in order to contrast these multiple alleles with polygenes or polygenic inheritance, we will discuss their differences in detail. First of all, let's see what multiple alleles are. It's when more than two alleles at same loci within the population control a single phenotype. Keep this thing in mind. It's within the population, not within an organism. Because the individual has only two alleles for a gene at loci for a single character. But when we see this at population level, we see there are other alleles at same loci within the population that controls this phenotype also. So this is what multiple alleles are. And on the other hand, we have polygenes. We see the polygenes are the genes where we see more than one gene contributes to the phenotype of an individual. Here the two are more than two genes at different loci give an addictive effect for a single phenotype within an organism. Usually we see one gene contributes to the phenotype within an organism. Whereas in this case of polygenes, the two or more than two genes work and function together to give you one trait. If we see the examples of multiple alleles and polygenes, then for multiple alleles we have ABO alleles found within the human population. Whereas for polygenes we have genes for eye color that's OCA2 gene, HERC2 gene and also TYR gene. Let's see the ABO multiple alleles first. Suppose we have a three chromosome from three individuals from human population with Mr. X or you can say Miss X. Then we have Mr. Y and Mr. Z. From these individuals, we have taken chromosome number 9, which is having ABO alleles on its Q arm. We see Mr. X has got A allele on its Q arm. Mr. Y has got B allele, whereas Mr. Z has got O allele. And these alleles are present at the same position, that same loci on Q arm. All these alleles code for a single phenotype, that is the blood group. But for an organism, we have only two alleles present for a gene. That can be any of two from these three alleles. Now let's jump to the polygenes. When we analyze the same Mr. X individual for its chromosome number 15, we see it has got two genes on its Q arm between 12 and 13 position. That means at different loci. And these two genes at different loci are OCA2 and HERC2. Both these genes will come under polygenic inheritance. That means both these genes will give addictive effect and will contribute to a single phenotype that is eye color. So multiple alleles occurs within the population and polygenes occur within the individuals also. So this is all about the difference between multiple alleles and polygenes. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.